colleagues, parents, community, I take little satisfaction, but it is my responsibility, not only as RTA president, but as a city resident and a citizen of this community, to read to you the resolution that was unanimously adopted two days ago by the Rochester Teachers Association's representative assembly. Three years ago, I would not have envisioned any such thing. Two years ago, I welcomed Superintendent Brizard. Two years ago, teachers welcomed and supported Superintendent Brizard. I remember introducing him to over 1,500 teachers saying, we succeed if he succeeds. And if we and he succeed, children will succeed. I'm sorry to tell you that since then, by his own doing, he has disqualified himself to the point that 94.6% of teachers said they have no confidence in him. What would happen if 94.6% of soldiers didn't have confidence in their general? Would we be saying, well, why don't we just sit down and talk about it? Would we get another army or another general? So here's the resolution. Where a superintendent, Jean-Claude Brizard, is unilaterally promoting and implementing pedagogical, pedagogically unsound practices and policies and strategies that are harmful to our students, and where our superintendent, Jean-Claude Brizard, is ignoring and marginalizing the voices of parents, teachers, and the school community, and where our superintendent, Jean-Claude Brizard, is neglecting the deteriorating conditions for teaching and learning in our schools and creating an unsafe environment for students and staff, and where our superintendent, Brizard, is failing to provide the leadership so desperately needed for improving our schools. And whereas the Parent and Community Coalition for Educational Change has already issued a resolution of no confidence in Superintendent Brizard, and whereas 94.6% of Rochester teachers voted no confidence in Superintendent Brizard, being therefore resolved that the RTA Representative Assembly affirm the teachers' no confidence vote and listen carefully be it further resolved that the Rochester Teacher Association urged the Board of Education to enter into negotiations with Jean-Claude Brizard for a mutually agreed upon and expedited departure date. ourselves to you, not to Superintendent Brizard, for two reasons. Because it is your responsibility, yeah. first of all. And secondly, he, he does not listen to us. I'm not sure he understands. In his response to the 94.6% vote of no confidence, he said two things. One is, I'm not sure that that accurately reflects how teachers really feel. So, does it have to be more than 94.6%? Secondly, he said, he's disappointed because he and I are on the same page. We're not on the same page. We're not in the same book. We're not in the same library. I'm in a nonfiction section. His agenda, his agenda could not be more opposite of ours, and I'm speaking for teachers. He wants to privatize public schools. We want to keep public schools pri public. He wants to muzzle parents and teachers. We want reforms to be done with us and not to us. He wants to dismantle our schools. We want help for our neglected schools. He wants to promote charter schools. We want him to stop neglecting our schools. And you just conclude that. I will. He, he practices top-down dictatorial 
style of management. We believe in democracy. Some of us escape communism to enjoy democracy. He makes decisions and then shares them with us. We want the shared decision making. He believes what sounds good. We want what's good and sound. He believes in intimidation and reprisals. We are not scared of him. He manipulates the data to make it sound like we're better off than three years ago. We know we are worse off than three years ago. He thinks that teachers need merit pay. We need that teachers need respect and support. He wants to right size the district and max out class sizes. We think that city kids deserve what suburban kids get in class size. He spends more in bureaucracy and less in a classroom, according to American Enterprise Institute recent study, than any district in Monroe County. We think that the reverse should be true. He says that the problem is bad teachers. We think the problem is bad leadership. He says we are rooted in the status quo. We say no, we are rooted here in Rochester, unlike him. We are rooted in common sense, unlike him. And we are rooted in respecting others, unlike him. So I will say finally this. You cannot, as a board, ignore the fact that Superintendent Brizard himself, nobody did it to him, disqualified himself. And you cannot ignore it without disqualifying yourselves. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gloria Cooper.